So we, we did another vets fishing uh, day here up at Crystal. It, it's something that I've been involved in uh, for the six years that I've lived full time in Crystal. Doug, Doug Schwartz sets this up. And it, it's just great to have these guys come up here. I mean, it, these are the guys from the U.S. military, all branches of the military, Air Force, Marines, Army. And it's, it's like the least thing we can do for them is to have them come up to this great fishery that we have here in Crystal Lakes. So I think the community supports it so strongly because we have a lot of military families in our community. Uh, donations come from all over the place. A lot of people from Boulder, Denver, Lakewood, Littleton, a lot of donations come in. But most of them have some ties to the military and ties to the event. We've had nothing but positive comments, positive feedbacks from the vets that have come here. Over and over again they tell us that this is their favorite place to attend because of the not only the quality of the fish and the fishery, but the variety of different types of fishing we have here. We have stream fishing, float tube fishing, small pond fishing, big lake fishing, but also just the way that we take care of them with the, the food and the meals and the, the volunteers from the community who come out. And they not only donate to this, but they donate their time and they give, give a whole day to helping these guys out. And if you can cast to the outside of that seam, there's a drop off and you, you'll chance to do pretty good. Now we put fathead minnows in the lake and they'll run the shore. And that's why we suggested going with that uh, thin mint. If you cast back towards the shore and either run parallel to shore or bring it back out to you, you might be surprised what you'll find there. Now watch what happens if I break my wrist. Even look at the top of your tip. See how it loaded? You're a little quick. 1,001, 1,002. <laughs> yeah, but you're getting it out there and you're setting the hook. You're paying attention and you're setting the hook and that's the important thing. He's caught some big ones today. Yeah, he's been doing really good. That last one was good. His first one that he caught was bigger. It was a big fish. We got pictures of it. See, that could be a bigger strike than you think it is. And I jiggle it when I get a little action like that. You gotta jiggle it. Check your fly too, make sure it looks good. You got a little action there. Check your depth too. You know, the fish's body is, is coated with that slime and the slime is uh, designed for, not just to give you a gag reflex when you touch it, but it, it prevents parasites from adhering to the fish. Then it's 1,001, 1,002. Better. That was better. And that's that same seam that runs in there. And you, you'd be surprised what you find in the shallow water. You really would. We're fishing with balance leeches. Purple balance leeches. And they're working. Yeah, no, it's, it's a Palomino. They just come out in all sorts of different color phases. It's great to watch him catch fish. He's, he's doing good. He had never roll casted before he came here today. Three here and nine at where? Little Lone Pine. Little Lone Pine. The fishing board sponsors the event and puts the event on uh, but as I said before it takes so many people it takes 23 24 guides it takes 15 or 16 volunteers um, so it's a it's a community event really for the six years that I've done this I've had a different fly fisher and, and you start to see the same faces coming back every year simply because this is one of those landmark places you want to come to to fly fish. Yeah, I, I do this for a whole lot of reasons. My, my father was a pilot in World War II with the Army Air Corps. So I really, really appreciate the fact that these guys do what they do and have done what they've done, guys and gals. And for me, it's just a way to give back just a tiny, tiny little sliver 
for what they've done for us. And it, it's rewarding. Yeah, it's rewarding from an, in an altruistic kind of a way, but it's also really rewarding to help them and, and to see, you know, especially when we have some, some folks that I've worked with who have really truly been damaged by their service, by things that happened to them. And you know, falling out of helicopters and blow, being blown up and stuff, and to see what they can do and, and the, how they enjoy the day up here, it means a lot to me. I do it for them, but it is a, it is a very rewarding experience. The veterans have been coming up here for a number of years and they've told us that this is one of their premier places to come and fish. Uh, they go to a lot of different uh, locations, but this has become one of their favorites. Folks on the fishing board and the volunteers that come out to help, we put a lot of time into this, and it's just for the vets on that day. The benefit to the community is introducing people to Crystal Lakes and, and the fishery that we maintain here. All of the guides were presented with a challenge coin from the leads from the veterans group, expressing thanks and gratitude for going above and beyond and helping the veterans. See how straight that is?